Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Nykaa haul. I needed to add or refresh my makeup in a way so and I actually did wait for the sale season to come because makeup is expensive. So I decided to share some of the makeup and also for dusky skin tone, it is hard to find a great concealer, a foundation or anything. So if you're anyone who's closer to my skin tone, that's one of the reasons I decided not to wear makeup while filming this video uh, is because I wanted you all to see my actual skin and uh, my discolorations, my dark circles. I know I don't have like a really really pigmented uh, face or anything like that um, so yeah so we'll start with the primer now for the primer I did use the MAC fix me prep and prime whatever one it is good um, I did see a difference in my makeup without using that Nika prep me up it's a silicon based primer because the other one that I had was really like spray one so I needed one that was silicon and gel based I actually wanted to go for the elf putty that's really good too if you can get your hands on that then I would definitely recommend that uh, but I didn't actually find it it was unavailable so I had to go with the Nyko one but I did try this out and it's pretty good as well but it is silicone and it is like really thick so you need to moisturize your skin heavily before using this um, so I would definitely suggest the elf one because I have heard great reviews but sadly it wasn't available when I went for it so these two for sure now I have two foundations first one is my LA girl my trusty handy uh, LA girl pro coverage high definition illuminating foundation I am in the shade sand um, so this matches me perfectly I love how this looks on my skin and the second one that I got for a little more like heavier professional makeup um, was this Huda Beauty I think it's faux filter it doesn't say anything over here yeah it is faux filter and this is a matte foundation so I would definitely be mixing these two and would have a really good moisturized prepped face before putting this on because this is very thick so you cannot wear this every day um, and I'm in the shade Baklava so definitely try this out and see if this matches you the salesperson actually said butter pecan but I think this matched me perfectly and the butter pecan one was actually a little bit more darker so you can try those two shades if you're anything closer to my skin tone and check that out and I actually got this on a great sale i got this for i think around 2000 and the actual price of this product is 3500 so definitely check it out in the sale times so it was 40 percent off so it was a really great deal now i have a lot of concealers because concealer for a deeper skin tone is a very 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 important thing because I see so many deeper skin tone girls mess up their whole makeup because of their concealer because it always looks white under their eyes when it's supposed to look bright. So I have a lot many concealers and I'm going to show you my favorite ones and the ones that you can maybe use if you don't, can't, cannot find this. Um, so this actually I don't really use that that often but if you really because I don't have a lot many like deeper pigmentations that I would need to cancel it out so I'm okay without this but if you really if you're someone who has a lot of dark circles um, just a very little bit of this color before you apply anything on your face like before you apply any makeup on your face and just go underneath it and then put a concealer on this first and the concealer that you will put on this has to be your skin shade concealer not the lighter one that you would use for highlighting but the one that you would use to fix up any uh, blemishes or anything like that so if you do that and then apply a foundation and then apply a brightening concealer you'll be good to go so the age rewind concealer I'm not actually the biggest fan of these. I stopped using these. Uh, if you can see, it's just there. I've just stopped using them for some reason. I really don't like it. So, um, I don't know. It always makes my eyes look... I don't know. The Maybelline skin products, like Maybelline foundations or concealers, actually don't suit my skin or my face. I don't know what it does, but it oxidizes every time. So, I don't like those. 
you know, I have, you know a lot of people who just love um, Maybelline concealer. So yeah, another concealer that I'm gonna tell you about is my Holy Grail secret. You know, I just don't want people to buy this, and I want to save that one for myself. But now I'm making a video about it, and you can see how much I've used it. And this is the Swiss Beauty Concealer. I know it's not a great brand, but this concealer does magic for me. And I use the shade Sand um, 02 Sand Sable. Yeah, Sand Sable. I have two of them. <laughs> and this does not oxidize on my skin at all. And it is the perfect brightening concealer. It blends it beautifully. You can wear this for as long as possible and it won't crack, it won't budge. I think I've used this every single time I've done my makeup and just my eyes look bright and perfect i don't need to touch it up i don't need to do anything just a little bit of powder to you know set it out i love the formula of this it's very liquidy so you put it on and then you just wait for it to dry a little bit and you can just blend it out and it's just perfect and i love it i know this is a pretty light shade for my skin but it matches me perfectly i cannot explain that like i wear this every single time I do my makeup. I use it for brightening, so on the bridge of my nose and in my, like, under my eyes and over here, and it's perfect. Amazing, it's never given me any problems, so I would definitely, definitely recommend trying this out, so yeah. The next concealer I have is by e.l.f. and this is the shade Deep Olive, and this is a bit darker for my skin, but I use this before my makeup. People use correctors. I use this because it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but it's perfect to like put underneath my eyes and then put my foundation on and then do the rest. So I think it's beautiful. Um, I, if I had to buy it again, I would buy a lighter shade so it would be an exact match to my skin tone. But I love the formula. I love the formula. This is the 16 hour camo concealer matte finish and it does give you matte finish so it's amazing because concealers don't crack if they're you know matte and if they're being set it up with powders so i think this is a great formula i just got it in sale for a really great price so yeah deep olive go for it i actually wanted to try out the k beauty one and i should have gone for that because in my head, I was not gonna buy the Huda Beauty foundation because I knew that it was really heavy and I wanted a lighter look. But then I got it in sales and I was just like, I might as well. Um, so the K-Beauty powder, is, I've heard really amazing reviews about it. But the thing was, I thought that maybe for a wedding, it would be too light because the review said that it is very light. So if you want a nice like setted face or a matter face, then go for the Maybelline one. So the shade medium in maybelline is exactly my shade so it doesn't brighter underneath my eyes so i use this thing to set my entire face and the light i got the light one as well to do my concealers so yeah these are really good as well but these are a little bit more heavier but what i like to do is dust it off really well um so it's kind of like i'm milling it myself but it's amazing but if you are using the Huda Beauty foundation or any foundation that's a really full coverage foundation, I would suggest going for the K Beauty powder or the Laura Mercier because they are very, very thinly milled. So then light on your skin and they just give you an airbrush finish. So the next is my, I just got my classic mascara, the easy wash one. I know for weddings I might cry so the easy wash one is kind of scary but I do not I really like my eyelashes so I want to keep them healthy I know the Maybelline other mascaras that are waterproof are really great but the thing is they don't get out of your eyes even if you use oil based cleansers or whatever so I hate that feeling I need to make sure my mascaras are easy wash ones so my eyelashes are healthy and this is a really good one because it curls your lashes and I think I have good lashes also, so yeah, I mean, it's half me and half this mascara and I really like it. 
um so yeah just got that basic one i i have like four of these that are opened already because that's this is what i use all the time so for a long time now i've been using the lacme pot eyeliner because i really like the applicator it's so thin and the liner is so watery that it gives you the grip to do your liners like perfectly so i really love it um but I just thought of trying this new eyeliner and the only ones I could deal with was the pen ones um with a thicker like tip so I got the faces canada ultimate pro a mad made in heaven ink liner so this is like a really mad thick liner and a deep deep black like so I love that about this and I did use it for an event recently and i did really like it but i still need to you know get the hang of using like because it's almost like a marker and i'm so used to with that flexible brush like um applicator that i feel like it'll bend but this is like sturdy like a marker so this is definitely easier but i'm so used to the harder one that the easier one is now like for me it takes it will take time to get a grip of but i do really love this eyeliner and i would definitely recommend it um it's amazing and it's it just gives you the best black black look so yeah the thing that i would really like to mention is elf had a uh, buy two get one free like full size product in the diwali nike sale so the first elf product that i got was the concealer because i really wanted a concealer and the next one i got was this makeup fixer like makeup setting spray and this is great i think i don't know like honestly with setting sprays i can only see a difference in it when i don't use it versus when i'm using it because when i'm using it i don't really understand what it's doing like i get the fact that it's going to make your makeup stay better fresher and longer time but i'll only understand uh, the difference of it um when i'm not wearing it so i'll try it on without wearing it and I'll update you um but i think this is a great uh, it was like some 500 600 rupees it is small for the price that you pay um but it's not that bad also i think the next one is also the similar price and the similar size um so i don't know with this i would say it is very close to the nyx makeup fixer um and it smells the same so i guess it's doing the same so it was buy to get one full size product free so, so for that i actually went with this elf um liquid eye shadow because i think i was obsessed with them they're so easy they give you like the perfect glitter and it's you know you don't need to like rub your fingers into the palette or anything like that and i think it's amazing and the shade is flirty birdie i love a great pinkish nude like dusty rose nude i think that is my shade like a little bit brown and a little bit pink and that is the perfect i think that's the kind of lipstick that i go with all the time this time i tried this and i actually really liked it but i will mix a little pink with this whenever i wear this is the nika liquid lipstick in chai and this is amazing as well this is pretty good i didn't expect this quality from nika for some reason i don't know why i like liquidy matte lipsticks like if i have any liquid lipsticks i want it to be very liquidy and not super creamy because when it's liquidy it spreads easily and it just dries very light and your chapped lips it, you know even if you don't have chapped lips and when you wear a liquid lipstick for a very long time it looks like you have chapped lips because it cracks up and i love the fact that the more watery your liquid lipsticks are the lesser chances for that to happen so i think i really like a lot of nudes flush me out as being a brown girl myself so i think it's very important for me to share this because i know i love a good nude lipstick but it's just so hard to find good nude lipsticks So the cheapest one that I can give you is uh the Almond Pink 507 from Maybelline New York the lipstick lipstick it is beautiful gorgeous and I've used it so much I don't know if you can see it it's amazing it's very great and it won't flush you out trust me and um, this other lipstick from Sephora okay it doesn't have a name but it does have N24 and it is this like really brownish shade but it almost gives you 
what I have on right now and it has a little bit of like shimmer in it so it's like giving you that glossy effect without actually having to wear a gloss so it's amazing as well really great and the fact that it covers my lips when I wear it like it doesn't uh, let my pigmentations out being such a light lipstick um, is just mind-blowing then obviously my top favorite would be the Huda Beauty trendsetter one it is the perfect match for my skin tone and a lip gloss of mine that I actually really like is this fantasy fantasize from elf and it's like this really nice goldenish hue the applicator i'm not a huge fan of but i don't like a lot of other lip glosses so the fact that i like it is a big deal because most lip glosses are too thick and disgusting for me to like them and so i just apply a little bit here and like healthy if you like like those thick thick lip glosses then you can definitely build this up to look like that but i really like how this looks and it just makes my lips look super healthy and plumped up and yes it's a thing if you wear a nude nude lipstick like a brown or even this trend setter and then you apply a gloss it will look like you just got your lips done new chair of lipstick with a lip gloss will give you that effect so if you think you ever want a big lips moment you can just wear lip gloss even now you can see how much difference in my lips it has made by just you know adding the gloss so i think it's amazing so i hope this was helpful for you all and definitely try out these shades if you need one closer to my skin tone i know it's really hard to find the right shade of concealer foundation and all the basic stuff that we get um, i feel indian brands need to focus more um on inclusivity and extending their shade ranges specifically being uh, an indian brand and catering to us indian brown girls um having that mindset really paying attention to the deeper shades and uh, knowing how to make products for us but to do a little bit more research onto darker skin tones because we have such different undertones we have such different colors um that it's really important for you to have a huge shade range thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye